Hey, this is YBR back with Jalopy. And I think today or the next day is the final day in this game because on that day, we will get home and we get to see is uncle at home or are the rumors false? We will know very, very soon. So let's just hop into this thing. See if it's uh, okay to drive or not real quickly. Grab the keys, give it a little start up. That's a little damage. We'll just do a quick repair on it. I couldn't remember for certain if it needed any work. We'll just go ahead and do some quick wrenching on that engine. Then we'll be good to go. Unless some of the tires decide to burst the second I drive, which I think does happen. I think the tires don't say that they're broken until you start to move and they're like, oh yeah, we're busted up. You need to fix us too. Just making sure everything is ready to go. And this might be the last time I open the hood for all I know. Like if we can make it to this destination and the next one with just this car, we're done. And that should be possible. All right, looks like everything is repaired up. Close the trunk. Close the hood. And let's choose our destination. We have more than enough gas to get to wherever we need to go. So we're gonna head back to Dresden. And I'm excited to see Uncle. So we're gonna choose the shortest route we can possibly do. Okay, path is loaded up. It's nice and short. Maybe we could get two locations done in one video. So we have one tire that's giving me a little bit of trouble but the rest of them are perfectly okay it's really destroyed actually it's popped because you can hear it thumping as we drive if i come to a stop for any reason i'll go ahead and replace it otherwise we're just going to drive with it being popped and not care we're going to completely ignore the fact that i'm driving on a popped tire because i care about uncle that much i'm willing to risk my own safety risk the long-term life of my car by driving on a pop tire all for my uncle Although we might go faster if we just replace the tire though. That's one thing I didn't think about. And oh goodness, we got a giant hill right here. The one complaint I have about this game is how badly hills kill your momentum. I actually maintained a lot of momentum going up that hill, all things considered. Yeah, we slowed down to 40 kilometers per hour. Usually we slow down to 20. So that was an excellent maneuver up that hill as far as I'm concerned. And we got some downhill though. You know, the funny thing is the downhill doesn't seem like it accelerates you quite as much as the uphill decelerates you. If you're going up up and down hills consistently in a straight line, you wouldn't go be going that fast on average. You'd probably go like 75% of the speed of a flat surface, I would say. I hear that rear tire though thumping all over the place, but it ain't slowing me down surprisingly. Like I don't feel like I have a bad rear tire, I guess because my other tires are all okay. Real nice convenience to have. Being able to just drive on three tires basically. It's Whoa! It's gonna tip! It's gonna tip! How does this happen? How did this happen? We're good. Like I was about to say, it's like driving in a Bishu Pigeon, right? And what do Bishu Pigeons do? They tip. And what did we just do as I said that? We tipped. That's funny. And the thing is, is I could see tipping if we drove hard on a pop tire, but like all the weight was transferring onto the not pop tire. So how did they tip exactly? I don't know. I guess I just upset the balance of the vehicle and it was unhappy with me. So it decided to tip to get revenge. In the end, though, since we're only going 210 kilometers, it shouldn't be taking too long to get to our destination. Oh, we got a hill. How did the AI do it, man? They would just be roaring up this hill so fast. Can I just steal an AI car? That's what I want to do. I want to steal one of their cars and drive that and see how fast it actually is. All right, come on, car. Let's go. Let's go up to the 40 miles per hour or 40 kilometer per hour range. Keep it up. We're good. We got some momentum going. We got a downhill coming up. We'll be moving before you know it. All right, come on, get up to like 80 on this downhill, please. Yep, there we go, all the way up to almost 100. And we only got 70 kilometers left to Dresden. We could do two locations in one video as long as the next one's nice and short. Another one of these steep, no, oh, why? Why do you keep tipping on me? <laughs> What's going on here? I don't know exactly why I lost the tip so badly. This is weird. Like, I've never had tipping problems before, but all of a sudden it just wants to tip. My only guess is just having one busted tire makes the car likely to tip for some reason. I cannot explain to you why. It just does that. <laughs> like, you know, you, you end up on the side of the road. The police comes over and say, well, sir, how did you tip over your car? It just does that. And there's no good reason that I know of. Well, again, except for the tire being busted, which is probably the real cause. Come on, get up that hill. Don't lose too much speed. That was good. We only lost a little bit of speed right there. 
We're gonna gain it back right here, or at least a good amount of it. Excellent! All right, gotta maintain this speed, and we'll be at Dresden before you know it. We'll be at Dresden in only like six minutes from the time we started this video, so we definitely have time to get to the next destination. We're gonna go see Uncle, or at least see where Uncle is rumored to be this video, I'm pretty sure, because I think Dresden was the first location you went to. After Dresden, it's home. Can you even drive back home? I've never tried to do that before. It's gonna be interesting to see, and the game is lagging a little bit right here, no idea why. Guess we're just going too fast for the game to keep up or something, I don't know. I mean, we're making time! Great time! 100 kilometers per hour. Don't want to tip over though. The good thing is, even though I tipped over twice, the car rolled itself back upright without me having to do anything. That was real nice convenience right there. Alright, slowing it down. Hello, sir. I didn't say anything. Hello? Do I have to go on the other side, maybe? There we go. Peppers, please. Alright. Here you are, sir. Everything will be in order. I assure you it'll be in order. I told you it was in order. Okay. Then we just gotta go find a hotel, motel, holiday inn. Stay there. And looks like we're not gonna need any more gas or repairs to get to the final destination. At least, I think it's the final destination. I'm saying it like it is, because I'm pretty sure it is. We'll have to figure it out for certain though. Alright, there is motel. We're gonna do a nice stoppy right in front of the place. Because Uncle loved the stoppies. Every time we did a stoppy, Uncle would be so proud. He'd be like, oof. And that, that means good stoppy and Uncle. Grab my wallet. And we are ready to go. What I might do is I might restart the game though. Because I have no idea why it's still kind of lagging a little bit right here. So just give me my room. Oh my goodness. You got such a chubby face. Can't look at their face, man. It's gross looking. Look how fat that face is. That is a masculine face. Alright, so we're at room 2C. Wish I had a run key right now, but all I can do is crouch. Long walk all the way up. Look at that room, it's glowing! It means we should knock on the door. That's it. Wait, can you knock on the door during entry into the motel? I never thought of that. Like, I never actually tried that. Will somebody give you money when you first get to the hotel or no? Eh, uh, it doesn't look like it. At least, not right now. It's not like it's the first time I've knocked on every door and got no money though, so... If we uh, ever go to any more hotels in this game, which I don't know if it'll be happening, we'll have to try that. So anyways, into the bed, going for a nap, and I'm also going to restart the game, so I'll be right back. Alright, game has been restarted. Frame rate seems much better than before. And since I'm so anxious to go to my destination, I'm not even going to pick up the money if they gave me any. And they didn't anyways. I'm not going to bother knocking on their doors. I just want to get home. I think the next destination is home. I really cannot remember. I want to say Dresden was the first one, but it might have also been the second one. So let's see what it is. First, we'll start this car up, make sure it's ready to go. Yep, ready to go. It doesn't tell me I have a pop tire, but I know I do. So we're going to head back, and unfortunately, we're going to Berlin. It doesn't say home, so I'm assuming this is not the final location we're going to be driving to. And I want to be a nice short path, so I did a little cheat right there where you click back and forth, and the game just crashed, apparently. Huh. Let's try that again. This time we're not going to use the little exploit I was doing where it gives you a shorter destination. We're just going to pick whichever is the one that shows up. I guess maybe trying to cheat right there bit me in the butt and I got to walk all these stairs again. That's a extra 30 seconds or something in total probably. Walk into the car, get in the car, starting it up. Yeah, I would, I would say it's about 30 seconds. Into the car we go. Choose the destination before I even bother starting the car. Make sure it actually works. So you want to head back, and there we go, there's a nice short route. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Games... Nope, it did not work, it crashed again! Maybe I'm choosing too short of a route, we'll try choosing a longer one next time. Final try at this, if this doesn't work, we're going to have to find a different way of getting to our home, and the only way I know of, besides driving, is just hitting go home button, which I don't know if it's actually going to do anything different or not, but I've been avoiding clicking it just in case driving versus clicking the button does something different. So here we go. We're going to try one last time with this. Make sure we pick one that's not 210 kilometers. As much as I want the path to be as short as possible, that doesn't seem like it wants to do that. So how about a 280 kilometer one? There's no problem with that, is there? Oh, it crashed still. 
weird. I don't know why it keeps crashing. I know I said that was going to be the last one, but I am curious if there's any way we can make this work. Because I'm really disappointed I drive all this way and then I don't even get to drive home. I wanted to drive home. We're going to choose a super long route. We're going to choose one that's like 400 kilometers and see if that one works. Which takes forever to drive, I know. But I just want to figure out what's going on here. It won't let me go home. So let's see. What is the longest possible option there is? 420 kilometers. Crashed again. How unfortunate. Next question. Is it just driving to that location that breaks it? Or is driving to any location breaking it? Let's find out. We're going to try driving towards the place we just came from. Obviously, we're not going to actually drive there because that would be extremely pointless. We're going to see if that does anything different or not. To rip open the door, hop on in. And we just choose whatever route they have optioned here. So let's see what it does. I hear, okay, I can see it raining a little bit. So I just can't head back. It, weird, weird, weird. And there's no way to like cancel a route to try to see if that fixes anything. I guess if I really wanted to, I could. Why is there a stamp there that I don't have? Uh, I guess if I really wanted to, what I could do, is I could drive to where I came and then drive back here and see if that works. But that's kind of redundant for you guys, so I'm not going to keep that on camera. I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be back once I'm done. Alright, I just got back to this hotel. Once again, we're going to go sleep in the bed, wake up, and see if it works or not. If it doesn't work, we just have to teleport home, I guess, because I got no other possible conclusion I can think of. We'll have to see what happens, though. So day 19 in Dresden, before it was day 17 last time we were here. Left the door open the whole time we slept. Funny thing is, usually I save, so you never see the fact that, yeah, you should close the doors because they all just stay open. Anyhow, there's my car parked where I left it. Let's see what happens when we choose a location. So we're going to go to... That was weird. It said continue onward, and I clicked it, and it did the... Because I knew it wasn't going to the right location. Anyways, 210 kilometers. Does it work? Answer is... Mm, yes! Yes, it does! Excellent! Although I might actually need to get some gas. I don't know if I have enough... Well, it's only 210 kilometers. How far could that be? Uh, I am a little concerned about running out of gas. So, no, let's not take the risk. We'll grab some gas from wherever the gas station is here. I have no idea where it is. It's somewhere. Nope, that's the dealership. Although, there was one part somebody mentioned that I didn't get. So let me see if they have that, just because I'm curious. There's like an extra light bar you can get to make everything brighter at night. Although, I don't even know if I'll be driving at night the way things are going. We're getting a nice short path. That's possibly the last one. It'll still be daytime. So, what you got in the catalog? Upgrades, uh, no light bar, unfortunately. Then all the other stuff I already have. There are some paint things, but I really like what I got. Although, there is another Zikaret decal. <laughs> Don't need that since I already got it, but it's fun that it's there. It'd be cool if you could stack decals. So I could have the Zikaret blue flame mobile or something, but I messed with it before and I know it's just one decal and that's it. Although, you kind of like that. Look at that car. It's sitting so low in the back. It has such good weight transfer, except isn't it front wheel drive? You know, I really can't tell. This car has so little power, you can't tell if it's front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. Anyways, where is the store? That's the way we want to go, but first, we need to find the store. Maybe I'll swap out the tires, too. I don't know. Like, yeah, they're all flat, but it doesn't seem like it's really affecting me in terms of driving, so I don't know if I'll bother. Okay, so there's the store. We'll park up right in front and gas it up. Pay up and we'll be good to go. Stop. That looks close enough. I guess we'll shut it off while we're gassing up. Makes things a little bit more logical. Will it reach? This is a long reach, isn't it? Oh, are you kidding me? Check this out, okay? We're going to hop on in. Can we pull the parking brake? No, okay. So we just got to push it with the parking brake on. We're going to try to push the car forward. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't think it's actually working, is it? Let's see if it did anything. 
Oh, it's so close. I wish you could just do this. I so wish you could just do this. But it won't let you. Although I got a different idea. Okay, I got a, a dumb idea. We'll just buy a fuel canister. Well, I say buy. <laughs> but that's not what I'm doing now, is it? Oh, yell me. I need to pay. Don't worry. I'll give it right back. I'm just borrowing it for a minute. Where'd it go? Oh, they won't let me do that? Are you serious? It just disappears? That sucks. Okay, fine. I'll move the cart forward two inches. What absolute pain. There. I crashed it, so I know I can't get it any closer than it is. Then we gotta open the hood again. We gotta walk around to be able to grab the gas pump. Okay. I know it's gonna be running with no oil. I'll add oil in a second. I'm pretty sure I have some in the trunk. This will be the final time I gas up. I probably wouldn't have needed to gas up again if the game didn't glitch out on me. So much gas! This keeps going and going. Can I look around while it's gassing up? Oh yeah, I can. It just holds it there. See how it flashes purple if you go like that? I don't know why it does that. Oh, is that it? Yep, it's full. Okay. Let me check. Do I have oil back here? I thought I did. Cool. I have a little bit. Is it enough? I think it should be, right? One, two, perfect oil mix, empty bottle, throw it on the ground, don't care. And then just grab my wallet, pay for this gas, and we're ready to go. So yeah, everything's taking a bit longer than I expected, unfortunately, at this time. There you go. There's my money. Now we can get to the destination with my flat tires. I don't even care. We're going to drive with the flat tires because I just want to get there. Close it all up. Why does it say my gas is still low? Maybe once I start driving, it'll fix itself. Yep, there we go. I think we want to go straight out of here, basically, and then to the right. Maybe it's straight into the left and then right? I don't know. Maybe it's over there. Oh, I'm all spun around. I don't know which way to go. Please be the right direction. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Okay, this looks good. It looks promising. As the thing screeches across as it drives. I'm pretty sure by the end of this, we're going to have four flat tires, by the way. Just want to point that out right now. The way things are going, we're going to have all flat tires. But we're going to get to the destination. Two destinations, one video. This is the consequences we experience. Probably not worth it. Nah, you know, all I want to do is get to the destination. It's not about the journey anymore. It's about the destination to find my uncle. Because the journey might be completely pointless if you can't find my uncle. You got a little bit of battery damage just from that one crash. That's fine. It is not easy to control. I'll say that now. This thing is much more slippery than when the tires were good. So I'm going to probably crash a few times up. Oh, there goes another tire. Now, not only is it slippery, it's also asymmetrical. So it's going to always go a little bit to the right. As you're seeing right here, it's just slowly going towards that wall. You pull to the left, say no. And eventually, it'll probably go right back towards that wall. It's not very fast. It's not like in other games where it pulls hard to the right. It's just a very small, gradual pulling. You can see it right here with the corner going to the left. Like you line yourself up in the corner and it looks like you're going to stay on it and then just slowly goes to the right. We're going 100 kilometers per hour though with three pop tires and we spin out just like that. Yeah, it is super slippery to drive. And of course we spin out right before the hill. So we got to go up the hill at a snail's pace. Uh, I don't even want to look it behind me. Okay, I do want to look behind me. Nobody's there. It's good. For a while. Nobody's there for a while. Okay, we're up the hill. Can we get some speed going, please? I don't want to repair this thing because I don't want this video to last any longer than it needs to to find uncle. We're going to live with the pop tires and try not to spin out anymore. Although I think that's in nearly impossible when you're going as fast as I was driving. Maybe I need all the tires to be popped, then it'll be easier. Yes. Surely that's the solution. You just gotta pop every single tire there is. Too bad I can't just jump out with a knife and slash my own tire. That'd be the easiest way of doing this. I haven't seen any signs that say how far we are from the destination. Usually there's some signs along the way, isn't there? Our engine is falling apart. 
Don't care, we got speed. I just gotta make sure I don't crash. Oh, this thing, see, the second you start to corner, it tries to slide that direction and spin out. No spinning out, car. Think of the oofs. Think of the oofs. That's my motivation not to crash. Okay, we're doing good. Still no signs of uh, how close we are to the destination, though. Are you serious? How in the world did they try to fit through there? That was the lane I was in! That was really uh, out of nowhere. But I'm not even going that slow. I'm going as fast as I can on four flat tires. <laughs> but I also have a racing engine. That's the other thing. They don't got no racing engine in their car. I wonder if there are any mods for this game to give you a car more pickup on the hills. That would be so nice. Also, in mind having more pickup when you have the fully upgraded engine, because the change isn't as dramatic as you'd want, because the AI still has faster cars somehow. It's like, how? This is as fast as this thing can be possibly made, and the AI is still faster than me? What? I complain about that every video, I think, because it is just such an issue to me. Alright, we're going to pass them up right here. I'm going to show you a little bit of a shortcut. Oh, no, my car's falling apart, actually. Never mind, no shortcuts here. No shortcuts here. Car's falling apart too badly. Actually, we can't pass them up anyways, because they're not going the same route as me. What? What did I hit? What, is it because all my tires are flat? The thing won't drive anymore? Are you serious? Is that what's going on here? Or did I get stuck in the corner? Are you serious? The car is stuck in the corner right there, because I clipped it just a little bit. Well, that's dumb. Can I even fix it? Wait a minute. Like, I'm hitting an invisible wall. Like, I can't walk forward here. Strange. Okay, how about this? If we open that door, does it push the car at all? No, it does not. I don't know what to do. Like, I think the car is kind of stuck. Huh. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, there's like completely an invisible wall right here. This is blocking the car, and I don't even know if I can back up because I kind of jammed myself in. Can't back up, no. I gotta get to that side of the car and push it out, maybe. Everything is going very strangely. Like, these are not things I expected to happen. Gotta climb the car. And then try to push it from here. Come on! Go! 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 Alright, well I got it a little bit off of this wall, but I don't know what's going on still. It's like trying to tip over on me. As long as we can get it away from the invisible wall, that's okay. Alright, there's no reason for it to not be able to drive backwards now unless it's like stuck still somehow in the invisible parts so you back out of there and try going on the left side of the road then that was weird that was really weird this has to be our home though right we live in berlin don't we i gotta get up to speed again with the damaged engine and four blown tires this is gonna take a while i just don't feel like repairing nothing i want to get home i want to see if uncle's there I should have split this into two videos, I realize now, but there ain't no going back on it. Actually, I realized that a while ago, didn't I? It's just, it's way more apparent now. I really like those air movers in the tunnels, though. Those look cool. They look all, like, retro-futuristic, kind of. Hold on, car. Don't spin out on me. Oh, no. Is Berlin just another town? Was that the first town we drove to? I think it was. Let's see. Wait. Is that my home? We're home. We're finally home. Although, interestingly, it looks like we can... Can we actually continue to Berlin? Before we look for Uncle, can we continue to Berlin? No, there's a dead end there. Wait, is it? Looks like almost you can sneak through if you're on foot, doesn't it? 
Maybe not. I thought there was a bigger gap than there was. I'm going to try to sneak through, through on foot and see if he can or not. This curiosity comes before uncle, apparently. We did all this for uncle, and then I'm like, hold on, can I sneak? Can't sneak over there. How about over here? Nah, there's no way. All right, now, let's go see if uncle is at home or not. Spoilers, I saw whether or not he was home or not as we drove by. You might have too. Uncle, I'm coming home. It's going to be the reunion of the century. Because, yeah, we, I actually did see him. I really need some, and I'm happy about this. Turn my lights on so I can see him clearer. That's not my lights. Turn my lights on correctly. Leave the wipers on. Why not? Uncle would like to see the car a little bit cleaner. We'll try to clean the windshield for him. It has four pop tires. The engine's about to blow up. He can be like, what happened to the car? Uncle! Don't do that. Don't leave me like that. Hi, Uncle. He doesn't say anything anymore, but he's back. All right, that is the true final video for Jalopy as far as my plans go. Unless something comes up where I, pl I uh, end up making another video, this should be it. Until next time, this has been the Journey of Jalopy with YBR. I'll see ya. Hi, Uncle. <laughs>